Well, Korea is gearing up for the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics, and the one year countdown has begun. From now and then, there will be plenty of events to keep visitors to the area entertained. As the Olympic Organizing Committee kicks off the Cultural Olympics, which is designed to highlight the region's unique cultural traditions. Our very own EG1 gives us a preview in the first of our three part series about the PyeongChang Olympic Games. The countdown to February 9, 2018 is on. With the PyeongChang Winter Olympics now less than a year away, Korea is marking the one year countdown to the Games with events around the country. Alongside the test events being held to try out the facilities and give tourists a preview of what's to come, the Olympic Organizing Committee is also hosting a Cultural Olympics to infuse the Games with elements of Korean culture. There is not much difference between the sporting events themselves, so the Olympics are very similar whether they are held in Korea, Japan or Europe. So to fulfill our vision for expanding winter sports in Asia and transforming Gangwon-do province into a new winter sports tourism destination, we've organized numerous cultural festivals highlighting not only Gangwon-do province but of the whole of Asia as well. The Cultural Olympics got started with a concert at Seoul Arts Center earlier in the week. From classical musicians and folk singers to a children's choir, the performers fill the hall to wish for Olympic success. And over in Pyeongchang and Gangneung, where most of the Olympic Games and ceremonies will be held, there are even more festivities lined up over the coming months. One of these events is the Pyeongchang Biennale. Launched in 2013 to promote the Pyeongchang Olympics, the Biennale is now celebrating its third anniversary. Presented under the theme, The Five Moons, Return of the Nameless and Unknown, inspired by the five Olympic rings, the event features artworks by some 80 local and foreign artists, including several Gangwon-do veterans, whose works will offer visitors a better understanding of the province's cultural history. Gangwon-do doesn't have many big international festivals, but thanks to the Winter Olympics, cultural events have begun to flourish in the region, including the Pyeongchang Biennale. After the Olympics end, we hope the Biennale will have cemented its legacy as the region's representative event. For visitors seeking more action, groups from Korea and abroad are presenting performances at theaters around Gangneung this month. The lineup features 55 productions highlighting both regional traditions and new interpretations of traditional works. One group from Chuncheon, for example, is presenting a Korean-style opera called Spring Spring that's based on a short story by renowned local writer Kim Yoo-jung. By incorporating cultural traditions like pansori narrative singing and the Chuncheon drum dance, the production is full of opportunities for tourists to experience the culture of Gangwon-do. Over in Daegwalyeong Township, people in costume are having a parade dancing and playing the gengari, a small gong, and the changu, a drum. At the end of the parade, the eight oop, or administrative divisions of Pyeongchang, give presentations on their unique cultural traditions. From the Sambesam Good Ritual, where the villagers gather to celebrate a good harvest, to the Mount Hwangbyeongsan hunting play, which shows how villagers used to hunt wild animals from the mountain. It's really cold, but I'm more than happy to participate in the performance as a resident of the Olympic host county. I've visited Gangwon-do a number of times before, but this is the first time I've seen these unique local presentations. With the technical preparations nearly complete, the organizing committee and Gangwon-do province governor are now seeking to focus more on organizing quality cultural events and promoting them to tourists. 
There are currently about 60 cultural festivals lined up, and we will make them grand to create a sustainable legacy for Gangwon-do province even after the Olympics end. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Gangneung.